Welcome to the Bangor High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Graduates and guests, we'd invite you to stand as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem by senior members of the Bangor High School Chamber Choir. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Taylor Coombs, and I'm honored to be here today to celebrate this milestone with you all as your class president. I'd like to welcome all of the friends, family, and faculty members that have come today to celebrate these extraordinary students sitting in front of me. And a sincere thank you to all those who have worked hard to make this day special for us. Nobody told me at the beginning of the year when I ran for class council president that I had to give a speech at graduation. Naturally, I thought it would be the valedictorian. Thanks, Cuddy. <laughs> I promise to keep it short because after a long four years, I'm sure you are all super anxious to receive your well-deserved diplomas, as am I. Our time at Bangor High School has certainly been unique and unforgettable in many different ways. While it seems like it was in the distant past, half our time at BHS was spent behind a mask, in front of a Zoom screen, socially distanced, or applying the terrible smelling hand sanitizer provided by the school. <laughs> Freshman year, we got a glimpse of what high school was supposed to be like. And then, overnight, we were propelled into the unknown. Sophomore year brought about a whirlwind of change. Living in a constant state of fear and stress was surely one of the most difficult situations many of us have ever experienced, parents and teachers included. Junior year, things began to turn around. By the time the last of the ceiling tiles had fallen, I think I speak for the whole class when I say we were collectively suffering from a severe case of senioritis. Which leads us to our senior year, our return to normalcy. If there is one word that could describe us as a class, it would be resilient. Just take a minute to look around at the people sitting next to you. We are here with no masks on, fully connected with each other. We made it. Although it seemed to fly by, we have all learned an immeasurable amount during our time here. I'm constantly impressed by the creativity, thoughtfulness, and intelligence of my peers. 
but I believe the lessons we learned outside of school are equally as important. We learned to lean on each other in the face of uncertainty. We learned to ask for help. And most importantly, we learned to savor the moments we did spend together. Think about the many senior events we have enjoyed in the past few weeks, from prom to Project Grad tonight. These are the moments that will define our experience here and bond us together forever. Ultimately, adversity doesn't end with graduation. And as soon as we walk out of these doors, we'll be propelled into the unknown once again. There will be countless times in our lives when we are faced with challenges. And in those times, we can reflect back on our time here at Bangor High and remind ourselves of the obstacles we have already overcome. Yes, we have endured more than most classes before us, but it is because of these challenges that we are now more prepared to adapt to the ever-changing worlds we live in. Benjamin Dizzarelli said it perfectly when he said, there is no education like adversity. So before we cross the stage and receive our diplomas, before you toss your caps in the air and say goodbye for the last time, take a moment to reflect back on the four years here. Regardless of the struggles we faced, I encourage you all to think of at least one positive memory that defined your time here. Whether it was a class you enjoyed, a teacher who made you laugh, or an after-school activity you participated in. And I encourage you to hold on to that memory. For me, it was doing powder puff with my friends and winning the championship we were brutally robbed of our freshman year. I hope that these are the types of positive memories that you will remember for years to come. Although today marks the end of our time together as BHS students, it is a new beginning for us as individuals, now equipped with the tangible and intangible skills we need for success. And I wish you all the best of luck on your own unique path to finding that success. Thank you. On behalf of the, on behalf of the faculty of Bangor High School, and the hey, now that was an entrance, wasn't it? <laughs> Supposed to be some some softness with the distance. Taylor, you must have warmed this thing up for me. Great job. Uh, but on behalf of the uh, faculty of Bangor High School, the Bangor School Committee, it's a pleasure to welcome you, graduates and friends and family. I told you you're gonna fill the place, right? I told you. And we, I don't remember uh, a bigger, bigger crowd here. And uh, thank you for coming out to celebrate. I think it's poetic in a way. Yes, thank you. Give yourselves a hand, yeah. I think it's, it's poetic in a way, and you've mentioned it, and that, that word that, that redefined and challenged us in so many ways, that tough period of time, I've uh, made a pledge to myself, and I'm not going to say it out loud anymore, but for what you've been through, I think it's poetic that the day is so beautiful, the venue looks so good, and you look so good, and people came out in droves for a really big moment in your life and a really big culmination celebration to end celebrations of you as a class of... 2023 on such a great day. We're going to transition at this point into the awards portion of the uh, uh, graduation ceremony. And I'd like to begin as we do by asking the members of the class who have made the choice to go on to serve their country in active service or to academies to please stand and be recognized for making that choice. And perhaps be recognized by those among us who have made that choice as veterans. We do have a number of scholarships and awards that we hand out at graduation with the assistance of Superintendent Tager. I'd like to invite the following students to come up and receive these awards as they're listed in name. The first award is the Thomas Singh Memorial Scholarship Award. It's awarded to a female, male and female graduate to support the pursuit of education at the secondary, post-secondary level. There are two recipients Olivia Bassey and Henry Smith. <laughs> Through our school's partnership with the Maine China Network, confer an award for outstanding study of Chinese at Bangor High School, the recipient, Ellis Nichols.
Bangor Education Association, two scholarships award, one male and one female, awarded to graduating seniors who intend to enroll in a four-year teacher education program or who's the son or daughter of a person working in the field of education. The recipients, Samantha Erb and Xander Talili. The Alfred J. Cromwell Scholarship, awarded to an outstanding graduate, student of color who demonstrated commitment to continued excellence in post-secondary study with evidence that the award will meaningfully support those pursuits. The recipient, Sisma Munoz Curiel. The Frederick L. Hannon Memorial Scholarship, awarded to a respected member of the class whose pursuit of a four-year college program of study in the humanities will be meaningfully supported by this award. The recipient, Genevieve Sichters. The All Souls Congregational Church Scholarship, awarded to a senior student who has demonstrated high moral character and the virtues of justice, kindness, cheerfulness, persistence, and compassion, the recipient, Caroline Sada. The Tom Tennant Memorial Scholarships, two awards, $500 each, awarded directly to a male and female graduating senior who demonstrates strong citizenship and effort to achieve. While priority is given to students who attend UTC, the award is given to support the students' future plans. The recipients, Harrison Tapley and Abigail Quinn. might enhance the spirit of friendship of those who are receiving a scholarship with the classmate posed together in the picture. The Megan Walker Memorial Scholarship, $1,300, awarded to a student athlete with strong academic achievement and demonstrated commitment to extracurricular performance. The recipient, Samuel Rutledge. The Mary J. Novak Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a student who has shown evidence of achievement in the humanities and who plans to attend a four-year college majoring in the humanities. The recipient, Michaela Esty. The 
This next award will be the first test of our tandem picture. Two awards. <laughs> the Arthur Maria Brontis Scholarship. Two awards, $1,000 each, awarded to students who intend to pursue post-secondary learning at the University of Maine with the encouragement to consider pursuing a degree in business or education. Two recipients, Caden Miner and Michael McLean. The David Bauer Memorial Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a student planning to attend a private college to pursue an undergraduate degree. The recipient, Henry Pullen. The Lillian B. Constantine Scholarship awarded to an outstanding senior who intends to pursue an undergraduate degree in nursing. The recipient, Kaylee Bowen. The F. Tim Economo Foreign Language Scholarship, two awards, $1,000 each awarded to top foreign language students in the graduating class with the encouragement to continue the study of languages. The recipients, Cuthbert Stedman and Ellis Nichols. The Adam J. Hodge Memorial Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a senior who has persevered through a personal hardship or challenge and has been accepted at a post-secondary educational institution. The student has shown strong citizenship, involvement in school life, and compassion and care for others. The recipient, Aidan Rudolph. The Arthur and Florence Lieberman Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a senior who demonstrates academic ability, strong character, and leadership, and desire to earn a post-secondary degree in the health sciences. The recipient, Isabel Martin. The Dr. Benjamin Shapiro Honorary Scholarship, $1,000 awarded to a student intending to pursue post-secondary education within or beyond Maine and to engage in the study of health sciences with evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully support that transition. The recipient, Michaela Esty. The Bryce J. Pelkey Memorial Scholarship, $1,500 awarded in memory of Bryce Pelkey, it goes to a senior who shows the quiet humor and the spirited kindness that was reminiscent of Bryce J. Pelkey. It's, done, it's given to support the students' transition to college with the hope that they'll continue competing in college athletics. The recipient, Josiah Rodriguez.
The Karen L. Averill and Shirley Averill McDonald Scholarship, $1,500 given to a graduating student pursuing post-secondary study, a two or four year program. The students exhibited perseverance in academic studies, interest in extracurricular activities, involvement in community activities and athletics while demonstrating citizenship. The recipient, Ellis Nichols. Bangor High School Scholarships, given on behalf of the Bangor High School Scholarship Foundation, two awards, $1,500 each, awarded annually to, to two students who demonstrate strong achievement and evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully support future excellence. The recipients, Beckett Mundell Wood and Annika Nowak. The Robert Susi Memorial Scholarship, $1,500 awarded to a student intending to pursue a degree in business at a four-year college with evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully support future success. The recipient, Lindsay Doyle. The Frederick F. Newman Family Scholarship, $1,500 awarded to an outstanding student in the graduating class who has also been a participant in Bangor High School Athletics, the recipient, Catherine Busco. Clark Noonan Memorial Scholarship given through the Bangor High School All Sports Booster Club, $1,500 given to a graduating student athlete who brings it, both academically and athletically, in a manner that was reminiscent of graduate Clark J. Noonan. The recipient, Anna Connors. Sally M. Schubert Memorial Essay, $1,500, presented to a senior deemed to have written the best essay on the meaning of life. The recipient, Evangeline Eastman. The Bangor High School Melmac Principal Scholarship to support success in college. $2,000 award to a student who makes a difference in the lives of others and in his or her community, demonstrates excellent citizenship and the potential to make a difference in the world. The recipient, Lillian Rice. The Leslie Dickerman Scholarships, two awards, $2,000 each, awarded to deserving students who intend to matriculate to Hudson University. The recipients, Emma Lisa Deering and Benjamin Roy.
the Sanford and Joanne Miller Scholarships, $2,000 each, two awards. Awarded students planning to attend University of Maine or Huston University with the intended major in education or business and with evidence that the award will meaningfully support the attainment of one of those degrees. The recipients, Hannah Gagnon and Elijah Herzog. The Lawrence and Arlene Peaks Scholarship, $2,000, awarded to a strong Bangor High School graduate to support her or his education beyond high school. The recipient, Nora Marasco. The Marshall Stern Memorial Scholarship, $2,200, awarded to a student planning to attend the University of Maine system based on their achievement, involvement in school, and evidence that the scholarship will support their future success. The recipient, Michaela Esty. And Mikhail, I'd like to save you a trip, please. <laughs> Move on to the Lease and Miles Stryer Scholarship in memory of Carol Toddy Stryer. Two, two awards, $2,500 each, awarded to high achieving students in English or social studies and with the plans to enter the field of education. The recipients, Michaela Esty and Hadley Oviatt. The Alfred and Anna Abrams Memorial Scholarship, $3,000, awarded to a student continuing education with evidence that the scholarship will meaningfully support future successes. The recipient, William Karen. The Frederick Red Berry Scholarship Award, $3,000, given by the Red Berry Foundation and awarded to a deserving Bangor High School senior athlete who best exemplifies the ideals of Red Berry, an outstanding teacher, coach, athletic director, and educator. The recipient, Emmy Streams. The Jason Klein Stern Scholarship Award, $3,600, awarded to a Bangor High School grad enrolled in the University of Maine system who's demonstrated good character and scholarship as well as commitment to a difference in the community. The recipient, Emily Rutherford. The Sophomore Incentive Award. Uh, annually, a generous, kind, but anonymous benefactor who's fond of Bangor High School and his memory of his time there, uh, issues uh, an opportunity for a sophomore in that year to be 
given an incentive scholarship of $6,000 to encourage their future success, the pursuit of the high school diploma, and then on to post-secondary education. That sophomore award given two years ago matures on this day when I announce and congratulate Zoe Smith. The Mitchell Scholarship, $9,000, awarded in each of Maine's 16 counties annually by the Senator George J. Mitchell Institute. Mitchell scholarships are highly competitive with over 1,600 applicants annually. The scholarship award is based on academic achievement and promise of future leadership. In the amount of a $9,000 scholarship, the recipient, Delana Kessler. The Maine Pulp and Paper Foundation Scholarship Award, a $24,000 scholarship award meant to incentivize, reward, and encourage young graduates of Maine to pursue future careers in education. Maine Pulp and Paper Foundation Award goes to Carly Hayward. The final, congratulations to all the graduates. We'll close the awards portion of this ceremony with the Charles E. French Medalist. It's Bangor High School's tradition dating back to uh, before the uh, end of the last century on a gift from the Charles E. French Foundation, a seed gift to recognize top four graduates in a special way. It's been our tradition at Bangor High School to, represent, uh, to recognize the top four graduates in the class with a French medal that has very precise uh, fabrication demands. It needs to be nearly 100% uh, silver, it needs to be cast in a certain way, and we put that charge to Bangor High School graduates who have redesigned our medal and will reward, uh, will award the four French medalists on stage with a picture to close the awards portion of the ceremony. Charles E. French medalist for the class of 2023, Cuddy Stedman, Beckett Mundell Wood, Genevieve Sichters, and Evangeline Eastman. The moment you've been waiting for, let's reset the stage for conferring of the diplomas to the class of 2023.
Taylor G. Combs. Kaylin Elizabeth Abeda. Samuel M. Ahola. Maria Altamir Villa. Anthony R. Baker Paul. <laughs> Taylor Bassett. <laughs> Julia M. Bassey. Olivia C. Bassey. <laughs> Hannah M. S. Baxter. <laughs> ben D. Benefield. Grace K. Bennett. <laughs> Martina M. Bernard. <laughs> Nicholas Wallodemir. Bieberstein. Barrett Birmingham. Akshata Bobby. Amarika E. Boggins. Connor J. Boone. Kaylee J. Bowen. Jordan R. Bragg. Cole O. Bryden. Michael C. Bryson. Catherine B. Busco. <laughs> Julia Valentina Butler. <laughs> Eliza Campbell. Summer M. Campbell. <laughs> William M. Karen. <laughs> K. 
Casey M. Carter. Claire E. Chase. Savannah May Cheeks. Samuel Charosa McCarthy. Cameron P. Clay. Landon T. Colon. Haley R. Comstock. Cadence Condon. Gabriel Connor. Anna O. Connors. Anastasia R. Cousins. Levi M. Cox. Jasmine Curtis. Jaslyn M. Daigle. Cole B. Damon. M. F. Deering. Ethan R. Demerchant. Jacob C. Dion. Dylan Dorr. Liam C. Doughty. Casey L. Doyle. <laughs> Lindsey K. Doyle. <laughs> Muhammad Drame. O'Hara R. Dunley. Sindel R. Dunn. Evangeline S. B. Eastman. Carl L. Scher. Anna 
Kyle Elliott. Sierra Ellis. Samantha J. Erb. Anna Love P. Estabilio. Michaela E. Esti. Kaylin Faircloth Walsh. Dylan Farwell. Adriana M. Faulkner. Cameron M. Floridino Booty. Haley J. Fongelaz. Isabel A. Fox. Lakeisha B. Francis. Bridget Frazier. Brianna M. Fuhrer. Zion C. Fullwood. <laughs> Hannah E. Gagnon. <laughs> Dalen R. Gaudet. Dion A. Gaudet. Kristen D. Garish. Jasmine A. Giles. Taylor E. Gillio. J. Graham F. Glover. Caleb M. Gould. Brooke L. Grindle. <laughs> Kayla L. Gustin. <laughs> Sophia R. Hafford. Ezra Haynes. <laughs> Michaela Harberger. Hold on, Michaela. Michaela. Michaela Harberger. Sadie R. Harrow. (laughs) 
Aaliyah G. Hatch. Carlton E. Hayward. Eli A. Herzog. Emily Higgins. Connor Hildebrandt. Matthew J. Holmes. Kelsey C. Hope. Wyatt H. Howe. Austin T. Hughes. Evelyn Humbert. Kyle D. Hunt. Cassidy Grace Ireland. Samuel H. Irving. Cassandra N. Johnson. Roman M. Johnson. Colby Johnston. Zachary S. Jordan. Emanuela C. Juma. Aliyah I. Kaler. Eva Lee M. Keith. Emma G. Kennedy. Delena L. Kessler. Taylor King. Shaz Lovely. Hadley P. Oviet. <laughs> Joseph Lane. <laughs> Sarah, 
Sophia Loretano. Catherine Light. Kenny T. Lima. Stephanie A. Leonard. Benjamin D. Leroy. Elizabeth M. Liliab. Lucas J. Lindsay. Megan C. Littlefield. So. Austin M. Lozano. <laughs> Jennifer Liu. Gaisa M. Luna. Aliyah R. Lyons. <laughs> Abigail R. McDonald. <laughs> Carmen A. Maddox. Isabel L. Mankey. Nora L. Marasco. Isabel Martin. Chloe Marie McCann. Robert O. McCann. Ready? Zachary A. McKay. Donovan U. P. McKenzie. Michael C. McLean. Serenity S. McNeff. Emma McNeil.
Rachel Mendoza. Caden T. Minor. Brody Mitchell. Yeah, my favorite. Reagan J. Monroe. Alexander H. Montano Smith. Araya J. Moore. Brianna A. Moores. Colby J. Moreau. Nicholas H. Morrow. Marcia A. Mosley. Maya E. Muffet. <laughs> Beckett Mundell Wood. <laughs> Sismae Munoz Curiel. William J. Nevant. Michaela P. Nguyen. Ellie R. Nichols. Ellis L. Nichols. Ethan A. Nicholson. Annika Nowak. Patrick L. O'Brien. Yeah. Noah D. O'Connell. Sarah J. O'Connell. Brooke L. O'Donnell. <laughs> Dominic J. O'Donnell. <laughs> Hannah Lynn Osmer. Jacob W. Osmer. <laughs> Philip A. Olton. <laughs> J. 
Jacob J. Pangburn. Beckett A. Parkin. <laughs> Ethan L. Partell. <laughs> Peter S. Paulette. Yarek Paragachi. <laughs> Madison Jean Perry. <laughs> Cody S. Filia. Benjamin M. Polk. Henry J. Poulin. Abigail R. Quinn. Annabelle Ramsey. <laughs> Breton I. Redemarker. <laughs> Logan Conrad Renabu. Isaac Watson Renshaw Saramoglu. Yeah. Lillian J. Rice. Yeah. Kayla A. Reyes. Cody A. Roach. Josiah D. Rodriguez. Ava L. Roscoe. Ashland M. Roy. Aiden M. Rudolph. Emily P. Rutherford. Samuel William Rutledge. <laughs> Joshua H. Ryan. Gabrielle G. Samuels. Cadence E. Sanborn. Brady W. Sargent. K. 
Caroline Anise Sada. Ashley K. Schultz. Shabazz Shah Zaman. Adam T. Miller Treat. Haley M. Simon. Dylan A. Sogren. It's a range. Henry T. Smith. Mackenzie R. Smith. Zoe R. Smith. Jessica Spade. Elizabeth L. Speed. Reagan O. Sprague. Leighton G. Stahl. Cuddy C. H. Stedman. Owen A. Stevens. Wyatt Stevens. Gavin Stewart. Jolie R. Story. Emlyn Streams. Lucas Y. Sun. Genevieve C. Sichters. Harrison W. Tapley. Lorraine Ty. Guy C. Tebow. Madison L. Thibodeau. Elijah A. Thomas. <laughs> Sophia E. Thomas.
Quinn E. Tax. Alexander R. Talili. Ethan Tracy. Jason D. Tran. Madison G. Tritt. Lena Trocker. Classina Apollonia Phaedra Vena Morongan. Madison J. Villard. Celeste Shalom Walkler. Henry E. Wagstaff. Aliyah V. Walton. Minerva W. Wiggum. Grant W. Willette. Haley J. Wood. Elizabeth E. Wright. William W. Shu. Dominic York. Sebastian Rich. Matthew C. York. Nicholas J. Zetterman. Addison S. Osgood. Rebecca Ann Lewis. Okay. It's here one time for your class of 2023 20, Bangor High School. <laughs> 